Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another V for 18 trading video at last. We can get back to some trading videos and start getting the views. I'm just joking, of course. It doesn't matter about the views for me. I just want to make sure I get the best content out for you guys. And if you guys do enjoy the content, then you guys know what to do. You leave a like, you hit the subscribe button, and you turn on notifications. But today is kind of a follow-up video upon yesterday's video. So yesterday's video, I did talk about the footies promo coming well, more information coming out today. I don't actually think any SBCs will hit until later this week, probably Friday. I don't think they're just going to drop an SBC straight on to people. They might do. We don't know. But um, that's why we prepare early. That's why we prepare a day or two before. Because we know that things are going to be different. Things are going to be a little bit saucy. And prices are going to start going up. Which is why I thought today um, we're not going to have the usual 8.30 uploads. Um, I'm going to get this out at around 4.35 o'clock-ish because I don't actually, I still can't quite work out what UTC time is. The UTC time UK, I'm pretty sure UTC time just means like a standard time. Yeah, so UTC is basically GMT time. Um, well, GMT is... UTC at the moment we're British summertime so we're ahead an hour and then when the summertime's over we go back to GMT which is UTC so that's 6 p.m. so as long as I get this video out before 6 p.m. it's fine I'm gonna try and get it out between I'm gonna try and get it out about 4:30 I think that's a decent time but today I don't know why I've thrown the tablet over there because we're having a look at some more specific investments you know yesterday I just basically said for your clubs of 83s and 84s and a few 85s depending on their prices. Look at the live transfers, guys. 426,000. Whether this means this is a good time for me to pick up players or not, I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm probably not going to pick any up right now. I mean, not by much anyway. I mean, I don't think this Carvalho, for example, is going to be any lower than what he was. Let's check. I think we picked us up for 1.2. Um, Carvalho is a little bit expensive right now. I'm I'm not I tend to not make investments around this time because there are so little players on the transfer market. Then you know I'm just gonna go through and have a look at some specific players. This is now not filling your club. Okay, we fill our clubs. Now we're looking at specific players that we can buy that are going to make us the best money. Because with these SBCs, we know that the, the final footies, you know, the nominees SBC isn't investable. It's the the SBC winner, footies winner SBC that is going to either require. Last year they had three requirements, either an 83, an 84, or an 85. Um, so that essentially means the best overall players to invest in are probably going to be some 84. So that's what we're going to start off looking at here today. I'm going to get the minimum rating to 84. I'm going to get that rating to 84. We're going to hit go. We're going to hit filter by custom rating. And we're basically going to see what's about. So we have some cards here that are starting to go a little bit extinct. Um, we have a lot of special cards that obviously aren't available on the market and these are what we're currently sat on so we actually picked up a lot of our cards for a lot cheaper than this but that is because obviously they're a good price um, looking at what their price is you just kind of have to I would definitely not recommend buying I recommend buying in the evenings I think this is generally when players are cheaper because there is more on the chance of market if you're going to sell, then selling at this time during the day can be a good sell time as well. But um, I won't be buying until, well, later on when things are a little bit cheaper and stuff like that. Right now, 430 live transfers, definitely not a viable time. But I can tell you some players to have a look at by the time this video goes up, their prices might be different and they might be a little bit cheaper. So 
we have to think about links. The chemistry requirement for these SBCs last year was 60 chemistry. So that being in mind, you're going to have to have a good few links about. And there's a couple of cards here that um, I would definitely be having a look at. The first one I can see straight away is um, this guy right here. I think his name is Stephen, or is it Steph? And here he is, Stefan de Vrij, or de Vrij, um, whatever his name is. On the market, he's currently tapping at, well, quite a bit of coins because there are, there are, there is nothing on the market. But right now, the de Vrij card, there aren't that many of him on the market. There's only four pages of de Vrij on the market. I'm sat here and I'm thinking... Okay, there's only four pages because he's a new card. This DeVry card could very well be in some solutions. Because he's a Syria, so he's good for links that way. He's also Dutch, which means that he can get a strong link to someone like Kevin Strootman. Kevin Strootman is a great shout. But I think this DeVry card is also a great shout. And I would definitely be interested in taking a look at him. So I'm going to add him to my transfer targets and take a look at him later. Going through some of these, you know, guys like Berkey. Um, apart from the Bundesliga, who doesn't have great centre-backs to choose from. Especially 84 rated ones. I think there's only Sula, isn't there? Um, I don't really think there's much more. To offer, so I definitely, I mean, goalkeepers themselves are just, you know, as you would have learnt during team of the season, they go up maybe four, five hundred coins, but you know, there's no point investing in, say, going onto the market and going, oh, I'm just going to buy a hundred Berkeys, and you know, you would get maybe 50k profit from them if that. Um, the next one there I can see on the market is Ralph Fairman. Goalkeeper doesn't really interest me. Lopez, uh, goalkeeper doesn't really interest me. The next one, Jonas. Um, interestingly, you know, he's from that. Uh, he's from the Turkish league. So, potentially a, 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 a decent investment, um, I think, because he has got Brazilian and he gets a strong link to a certain midfielder called Pizzi. He also links to Carvalho. He also links to Pereira. Um, he'd also link to other wingers like William and stuff like that. Um, so Jonas, I think, is a decent buy, especially as he's a little bit cheaper right now. He's at, what, 3 8 I think I saw there. So, yeah, Jonas is also another buy that I would possibly be having a look at. I think 84 is probably the safest investment until you know any further details. I'm hoping we find out further details today at 6pm and they don't just drop us on something. Um, it will be 6pm UK time, so that's decent for us. Um, you know, a good time. You know, a lot of people are at home. So, that's that there. I see some more here. Senho, not really interested. I don't ever invest in goalkeepers just because I know even if, you know, somehow he's a great league and great nationality, just doesn't really do it for me. Norwood to Horn, one that could be a decent investment though, I can see here, is actually transferred Perrin. Um, wherever he is, Mattia Perrin. His Juve card could be a good shout. There are definitely more of him on the market. Well, there aren't that many. He's only six pages again. And his price is currently sat at around 4k. You know, 3-7 there. Possibly a decent buy. Um, even though he's only a goalkeeper, he could still be in solutions because he obviously gets links to Serie A centre-backs and stuff. I can't think of any right now that he could possibly get a strong link to. But, you know, he's Serie A. There's some good Serie A centre-back options. So, transferred players that are 84 rated and 83 and 85 rated are going to be a good shout just because of that. Another player that you'd never really think that could go under the radar is Edin Zieko. Um, he's cheap as hell right now. He's currently sat at probably about 3,500 coins. Uh, 3,7, 3, 3,8, 3,9. So he's at 3,900 coins at a 
bad time in the day. Um, the reason why I like him, he gets a link to a lot of Serie A midfielders. So he would get a link to De Rossi. He gets linked to Strootman as well. Um, especially that striker spot. Could be good. You know, there's good Serie A wingers you can put next to him. So again, I think Eden Zieko is found him now. We've missed out on that one, but that doesn't really bother me. Uh, we'll just go and keep a tab on one of them ones there. Um, let's see, going down, Falcao, Lee Gern, not really the best league to do. You know, Colombia as well. I wouldn't be investing in Falcao. Uh, the same with Gomez. Possi Gomez is a tricky one. He's... He, he... Argentina don't really have that many boards. Um, unfortunately, you know, he's his stock card is only a centre forward, which isn't I doubt they're gonna use a 4-4-1-1. So Gomez for me, I wouldn't be investing in that. Um, obviously all Premier League cards are gonna be good investments. Guys like Shokrodan Mustafi, um, you know, are gonna be good buys. Regardless, because they're Premier League and he's got a good nationality in German. You know, so a man like Shokodran Mustafi would be a good buy there. I'm seeing Iago Aspas. Um, if it's a free at the back, is it, if it's a, a winger formation with wingers, Aspas could definitely fly. Um, again, there aren't that many of him on the market. There's only five pages. The problem is with a lot... This could be a very, very good investment time for a lot of people. There's a reason for this. It's because the um, Festival of Football SBCs have completely rinsed the market of a lot of players. You know, I think 86 players are like extinct. 87s are extinct, so we can't even invest in them. Aspas, again, a decent investment there. Um, have a look there. Kalidou Koulibaly. I mean, he's a decent shout. His, his nationality isn't the best, which... Puts me off of him. So actually, no, I'm not going to look at Koulibaly. Uh, someone again, like Abu Riz, is a is a very good shout. Always Spanish players are a good shout. Just because there's so many of them on the market. And there's just good links to them. Um, you know, I don't think... There's probably not that many of Abu Riz on the market either. There's a, there's, a, there's a decent amount of Abu Riz on the market. But, you know, if you see an 84-rated player where there's not that many on the market, you go ham on that player. Because no doubt someone's going to want to use him in solutions. And Adariz is normally decent in solutions as well. And there aren't that many of him as well. So, you know, Adariz could be a decent shout there. I'm seeing this man right here, Bruno, always flies. He's not rare. He, he does a decent bit. There's only three pages of him on the market. He's already up at 5,000 coins. I see one there at 3-9. Bruno, people forget about him, but he's a decent he's a decent card. That 3-9 is probably a decent price on him, actually. Let's go for 4K. Actually, no, there's one there for 4,000 coins, so I won't bother. But, you know, that's a decent shout. All the Premier League guys, guys like Mares, you know, Premier League is always a good shout. People always go, oh, I'll just build a Premier League side and be done with it. Mares, a decent shout. You know, we got uh, Matic. He's a decent shout. I always don't tend to go to Ham on CDMs because in CMs or CAMs because if there isn't a CDM or CAM, people aren't going to default. Uh, they're not going to be on full chemistry. A man like Pedro is a decent, especially if the wingers come out. Wingers come out. We know Pedro could definitely fly. Um, he's currently sat at, what, 4-5, I think, yeah, 4,500, so again, Pedro, another man I'm going to be keeping tabs on, Bernardo Silva, decent, Asensio, it's a CAM, so not really, wingers are always good to look at, just in case there is wingers, if there is wingers in the, in the formation, then wingers will always fly, um, you know, I remember from team this season, Wingers just did an absolute bit. Um, as, as well as fullbacks. We know that fullbacks made us a load of money. And we'll have a look at them in a minute. You know, guys like Gary Cahill. Decent English Premier League. Manalas. Good. Roma centre-back. Strootman. 
Street Men's a great one for me. I think I think this man right here always has potential to go high. You know, at the moment he's at a, apparently 4'8", which would be correct, 4,800. You know, this guy's capped at 10k. I could see him going up to 10,000 coins. Just because he has the great strong links from Roma, I think he's absolutely fantastic for that. Don't want to buy him at 4,700 really. I want to keep an eye on his price though. Guys like Dimitri Payet, you know, he's a decent shout. You know, you might be paying a bit more for Payet, but I think the profit margin is a bit more as well because he's French, um, which is a good nationality. He's from the Ligue 1, obviously a top league, easy to link. Um, that's a good shout there. Laporte, French Premier League, good again. Um, don't know if we're going to get the City one. We will get the City one. Is he a little bit cheaper than what he is on Foothead? There's one there for 4.6, so that's decent there. We'll go to the next page. Uh, guys like Naldo, Marquinhos, Fakir. You know, another good one that I like to invest in all the time is actually Danny Parejo. Um, again, you pay a little bit more for him, but his price always flies. I remember in the La Liga one, he was extinct. You know, you could sell this guy at 9.9, 10k, and he'd sell. So... The, the idea of this video is to basically try and teach you into what players to avoid. You know, good leagues are good positions, good nationalities. Nationality is great. Spanish is always a great. You know, you think of the big nationalities. You know, English is good. Um, Brazilian is good. You know, French is good. You know, a guy, Eric Bailly, he's, price could go up. But again, you know, William... These are the ones I want to look at. Carvajal and Dani Alves. We go to Dani Alves. We'll have a look at his price right now. Keep an eye on these guys' price. They're at a lot of money right now. They're currently up at 6,000 coins. If you see these guys around under 6,000 coins, I'd definitely go and get them. Because again, they can max out. You know, they're the only right backs in the game. Right backs and left backs we learnt from last time around. They're great to invest in. You know, they're absolutely fantastic to invest in. Uh, where's the other one? Carver Hall is also a good shout wherever he is. Danny Carver Hall, probably a, around the same price. Uh, 6,000 coins. So again, you see him dip into the fives. Probably would go and pick him up. Um... But, uh, you know, I could sit here all day and talk about 84s. 84s are a great thing for me. But, again, I wouldn't invest... I wouldn't start picking up investments until we know more information about what's happening on this. You know, if you want to wait for the first cycle, you know, we know with Team of the Season there was a cycle. You'd buy the cards on uh, Friday, Saturday during lightning rounds. Sunday would come along. You'd probably sell them on Sunday or Tuesday. And then you'd go and pick them up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday again. Um, when the SPCs are gone. One thing I do want to have a look at though, I do want to have a quick look. I mean, 83s are at a decent price right now. Um, you know, I think they're still sat around one, two thousand coins. You see me with a good nation, you pick them up definitely. Um, I don't think you can really go wrong with them. 85s are still a bit iffy because of the, the SPC that came out for, um, whatever it was, a lot of the 85s are still, or the Festival of Football, a lot of the 85s are still extinct. Casemiro, extinct. Uh, Felipe Luiz, extinct. Salah, so extinct. Varane is extinct. Espiliqueta is extinct. Because all these guys have been in the Festival of Football pack, so nobody's been packing them. Uh, Matuidi, extinct. Jordi Alba, extinct. Uh, Vertonghen, extinct. Lacazette is extinct. Pjanic is extinct. The best ones right now... Um, you know, ju I just want to keep an eye on their price, really. Um, we're going to have a look at some of these. Stefan Ruffier is, was apparently 7,000 coins on the market. So, we'll have a look. 7,000 coins is what he's at. I'm going to add him to transfer targets. Another one that I'm just going to take a couple here to have a look at. And this is what you can basically do. You want to check player prices 
of eighty of the the eighty. You should always go and find the lowest ones and just see what their price is hovering at. Um, Stefan uh, or Kalon Navas here said he was around seven thousand coins. He is still around seven thousand coins. We got Camille Glick here. Uh, Glick, you know, not because of his nationality or anything, just because he's one of the cheaper eighty fives right now. Could be a good pickup. Otamendi is also could be a good buy. Uh, Nicholas Otamembe. He's 83. It's obviously going to be transvended onto the market. I'm looking for his 80. Did it say 7. Point... It's a 7.9k. Okay. Let's bump it up to 8,000 coins and see what's floating around here. Here's the Otamendi then. Uh, 7, 8. As predicted, Otamendi probably aren't that many of them on the market. No, you know, five five small pages that makes about two and a half big pages. We got one there for seven six. I'll keep an eye on that one as well. Um, but you know, Otamendi could be a decent buy. I mean, I'm gonna go through later on tonight when I know more about the SBC and then maybe start investing in some more. We got some more rating fives and then Barzagli and Mobile, uh, Koke, Marata, all decent buys, but I think they're actually capped at a price. You know, if we have a look at Otamendi's price cap, let's just quickly go back. You have to think about it this way. Otamendi, you go on to his, his price cap is uh, 10,000 coins. So, you know, you're looking at 7, 8, you're thinking, okay, is there much profit margin there? Not really, even if he goes to, to 10k, there isn't that much of a margin on there to, to get him at. So, again, it's kind of like, well, okay, it's just thing to keep an eye on. I'm pretty sure all 86s are still extinct on the market. Um, let me quickly check then. We got 86. And 86. 86s probably won't be needed, but if you have 85 overall... And sometimes 86s are used. And again, as I thought, all 86s, I'll just read them out. Felipe Luis, Czech, Royce, uh, Mertens, Coutinho, Perisic, Isco, Javier Martinez, Ribéry. I don't think there's one 86 on the market that isn't extinct. Uh, no, all 86s are extinct. So again, 86s, they're done. Um, can't pick. I can't actually pick up any 86s. 87s right now are probably getting that way too. Let's have a look on that custom rating. 87s, as predicted, are probably all extinct as well. Uh, the, the, there's one 87 on the market that isn't extinct, and it's Marco Verratti. He's at 15,000 coins. So, again, 86s and 87s are extinct, but... Hopefully you've taken something from this video. You know, I've gone through a couple of the players that I like to get in on. I'm not sure I'm going to actually invest in anything yet until I know any more further details um, tonight. Obviously, we got a couple of duplicates here that, you know, I put this Jonas up for 2.5k. He's already selling a, a decent amount. Um, you know, a lot of these investments, the earlier you get in, the better, which is why I'm putting this video up before. If I put it up after... If I put up at usual time, 8.30, I just feel it'd be a little bit unfair on you guys. So I'm putting up a little bit earlier so you guys can try and get in on some of these investments. But that is where we are in this video. I've been rambling for too long. It's now 25 minutes. Don't like to make them any longer than half an hour. So if you enjoyed, you guys know what to do. You leave a like, you subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and you hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button as well so you don't miss any uploads. I've been David. This has been FIFA 18 training video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, stay happy, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.